Is the Pebble smartwatch worth having? The big W himself, Mossberg. Then I'm Simon Constable. We're going to go straight to Walt Mossberg, who joins us now from Maryland. Thanks for being there, Walt. Glad to be here, Simon. So this Pebble smartwatch, what's it do, and is it worth having? <laughs> well, um, it's actually a computer that you wear uh, like a wristwatch. It tells time but it does much more. It connects wirelessly through Bluetooth to either an iPhone or an Android phone, and uh, it basically spares you the need to go fish your phone out of your pocket or your purse to see if an incoming call or an incoming text or an incoming email or a social network post is something that you need to attend to right then or you can safely ignore. You just look at your wrist and uh, uh, it gives you, it, you know, it tells you who the incoming call is from. Of course, you can uh, uh, hit a button and, and kind of send it to voicemail. And if it's a message, it gives you a preview of the message so you can get a sense of, gee, do I need to drop everything right now and deal with it or can I wait? Now, that all sounds very cool, but there are some, um, basically some bugs that you, you found in this. Take us through those, because you mentioned the message thing, and that, that is indeed one of the bugs, uh, if, if, it's an Android, if it's an Android device you connected to, right? Well, no. The, uh, well, there's different, there, there's certain uh, uh, bugs and limitations on each platform, and they mm. differ, but there's one thing uh, that I found that, that was true whichever phone you, you uh, used, and I did test on both, and that is... Let's say you get five or six emails in 90 seconds, which sometimes happens. You know, a bunch of emails come mm -hmm. in. Uh, the preview of each email will overwrite the last one and will overwrite it very quickly, so quickly that you can't even really read the previews mm -hmm. of the ones being overwritten. So it kind of defeats the, the whole f purpose. They know this. They say they're working on it, and they expect to have the ability to kind of scroll back through them uh, starting sometime next month. Um, because after all, this is a computer and they do have an app on each platform that can up, mm. update the capabilities of the watch. Okay, now t tell us about some of, some of the other things um, th that, were, that were an issue that you saw. Well, I, you know, there, let me just mention a couple of other um, positives and then I'll tell you a mm. couple of other negatives. It, it controls the music on your phone and that's kind of a cool thing. It, uh, so if you're running or doing something where you don't want to have the phone like in your hand, uh, it will do that. Um, they are coming out with, uh, 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 you know, tie-ins to other apps on the phones like running apps and golf apps and, and, mm. and other things like that. On the downside, you know, there are just limitations or, or bugs in both platforms. On the iPhone, uh, it has to kind of mimic a Bluetooth headset to work, and the email, the messages work, work great, but email uh, requires a bunch of flipping around with settings on the iPhone and no. kind of goes in and out, and that's their number one thing they're working to fix. On Android, you, you, can, you can't uh, accept a phone call. Uh, you can only reject it, and uh, there are some other strange things. And on Android, you have to set it up like a device for disabled people in the accessibility section. Nothing wrong with that, but I mean, it's just an, a bunch of kind of geeky steps. It doesn't just work. And, and uh, there are some other limitations on Android as well. So uh, my advice uh, really is, uh, I think this, this, this is convenient. It's nicely mm. designed. It's light. Uh, but for 150 bucks, you might want to wait until they've worked out a bunch of these limitations and bugs. They raised plenty of money through crowdsourcing for this, so they have plenty of resources to work these things out, but it may take some time. Okay, um, 150 bucks. If you've got it to spend, it might, might work it, but maybe it's better to wait for the bugs. Thank you very much. Vic W himself, Walt Mossberg, we thank you for your time. Take care, Simon. And that's it. That's Digits for now. I'm Simon Constable.